This video is brought to you by Apex Gaming PCs. If you're interested in getting into DCS, don't forget to check out Apex Gaming PCs. This is where I got my laptop. It's a great place to customize your own build with your own budget. Now available with Afirm so you can pay as you go and it doesn't hurt your wallet. Alright guys, don't forget to check out Apex Gaming PCs. What's up guys? We are back once again in the A10 Warthog. I've been having a tremendous amount of fun in this thing and a lot of you have been giving me some positive feedback that you like what you see with the, the Warthog. I mean, how can you not? What's not the love about the Warthog? So today we are back once again. We are uh, supporting friendly units against a uh, possible Iraqi Republican Guard held up in a little village back here. This is the little city recently taken by friendly forces. And uh, in the direction of the HMD that I'm looking in, you can see a little valley. We expect resistance all the way to a little village that is at the end of that valley there. And our tasking is going to be to provide closer support to uh, friendly units, coalition forces if you will, which basically just means Americans. And so what we're going to do is, oh and by the way, you can see with the HMD, this is the upgraded A10C module, the A10C Thunderbolt 2, the tank killer, and uh, the HMD is supposed to provide a lot more situational awareness. As you can see, I just designated a little location off in the distance there, and I'm trying to get the TGP, the targeting pod, on the right MFD. MFD is the screen on the right hand side. Uh, I'm trying to get it to look at the spot that I designated which it is now doing. As you can see, we got, I don't know what that is, bunkers and stuff over there. That's what I was trying to look at. We got a hind, possibly uh, a command post or something. Multiple vehicles, I see some scuds. Uh, easy target for tanks advancing. And we're gonna try to find more uh, challenging positions to hit, especially positions that may be ambushing friendly forces, and uh, I can see that maybe they can't. That's going to be, you know, those are going to be priority targets for me. Now, obviously, one of the more challenging things about operating in an environment like this is making sure you're deconflicting with friendly forces. Uh, the last thing you want to do is do a gun run on a friendly convoy. And so the HMD is actually a very important part of that. You'll see as I look around further into the mission, I'm sure you'll see uh, some X's on my HUD or on the HMD display. Uh, those X's indicate to be friendly units. And so you see that square with the little diamond in it? That's where the TGP is looking, the targeting pod. And uh, over here, around here, where is it? There should be a little village. Oh, we're right over top of it, right here. So these three little villages here, uh, this is where they are. Look at this. We got Katushas, or grads. Look at that. Wow. it's a lot of artillery right there. We're going to have to take that out. I don't know what they're shooting at though. Those You see those X's on the hut? Those are friendly units. And the artillery is actually falling somewhat near them, the uh, right group. But the rest of the artillery is just hitting inside that little village, or city I guess. Lots of civilian casualties there. Alright, well luckily it doesn't look like anything hit friendly forces. But uh, we are going to come around. I'm going to have to knock out those uh, rocket launchers. That's unacceptable. There was six of them, I think, last I counted. All right, I basically set myself up here. Uh, right there, look at that. All six of them in the rear of the village there. Try to take out all six with this gun run. One, two, three. Two of them are hit already. Three more right here. Oh, very nice. 
Oh, okay, we got hit in the wings, some small arms, but we took out six of those artillery things, rocket launchers. It's pretty good success if you ask me. That was a pretty nice gun run. I'm happy with that. All right, so once again, those uh, clumps of X's that you see on the, the green X's there, those are all friendly units. I'm gonna designate a spot right here. Let's get that little, there we go. Okay, let's see what's over there. I'm gonna slave the TGP to that point of interest. Oops, I screwed it up, sorry. Hold on, let me fix it. I'm still learning this HUD thing. There we go, there we go. What do we got here? Look at that, looks like some sort of storage facility and all kinds of armor. I saw some infantry there, entrenched T-72s and two of them right there with a bunch of infantry all around them and some scuds in the back. All right. What do you say we uh, demoralize these guys with a juicy 2,000 pound bomb? <laughs> gonna put it right on those two tanks that were in the open. And uh, gonna try really hard not to miss this one. All right, the CCIP, Continuously Computed Impact Point is this little dashed line you see here. When it goes solid, I can put it on top of the target. We can pickle it away. And uh, that is a missile. I am dropping chaff and flare from that. And it looks like friendly forces are engaging. There's the solid line. I'm gonna line it up with that diamond there. Pickle. And we'll pull up and wing over. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And they are not happy about that. <laughs> Nothing like a 2,000 pound bomb to ruin your day. Now, those little beeps that you hear that sound like a missile being fired at me, uh, they are. They also will pick up ATGM launches on the ground. Not necessarily at me, but just being fired in general. Uh, I obviously chaff and flare to be safe, but. Uh, you know, I have been hit by an ATGM in the past, but that was a different story. Uh, basically, it's looking for the heat source, the ignition of a missile, and once it sees that, it warns you. Uh, look at all that AAA fire over there. If you can see all that, that is because there's an Iraqi uh, Mi-24 hind over there. Fox 2 on him. And that goes for flares. Fox 2 again. That one doesn't track. Gonna have to gun this guy again. Nice. Oh, he got hit a lot there. And it looks like he's going down. He didn't get ripped in half like uh, the KA-50 the other day. MI-24 is kind of tanky. I don't know if he's 30 millimeter tanky. All right, so friendly forces, those X's once again. Uh, they're about halfway into that valley. And they've taken some contact on the left, which they've sorted out. And, uh... Is there something... Look at that, that command post. It's been hit, but... Something is shooting from over there. Hold on, that's a friendly... Okay, there. Alright, they just hit the T-72 that was shooting from there, but there is a BTR still there. And for some reason it's not being engaged, but I'm going to go after it. It's really the last piece of armor in that position. We'll just clear it out with a basic gun run. Just line it up here. There we go. Pull up, pull up. Yeah, BTRs don't stand much of a chance against the, <laughs> the A-10's 30mm makes pretty quick work put the seat down a little bit more all right I'm pretty happy with that let's come around uh, possibly another mi-24 or the same one I can't be sure I'm assuming it's another one because he's flying <laughs> the other guy uh, kind of crash landed there so I'm gonna try to take this guy down too Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> They're kind of like weirdly taking the 30 mil pretty well. I mean, they don't survive long after that, but you'd think it would just shred them, you know? Altitude, altitude. Here we go. Watch this. This guy's trying to run away. Yeah. <laughs> And that's the end of that guy. He's on fire, going down. And he hits the ground pretty hard there. Lucky he doesn't explode. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll come around and uh, make sure that thing never takes off again. Well, I sure hope that guy took the time to jump out of that helicopter. That MI-24 on the ground, because I'm about to turn it to Swiss cheese with 30 millimeter here. <laughs> it won't explode. <laughs> okay, I'm now orbiting the village. Friendly forces have actually reached it. Uh, they've taken out a little bit of resistance in the first village there. And for the most part, there's not a whole lot of stuff left down there as far as I can tell. Uh, oh, what's this? Drop a 2,000 pound bomb on this? What is this? Zoom in. Oh, it's a bush. Never mind. <laughs> Almost dropped a 2,000 pound bomb on a bush. Um, Alright, well, I don't see any armor. If I can find something just hiding in the trees or something, I'd take it out so that it can't ambush our friendly vehicles. Uh, back here is the uh, Katushas or Grads that we did a gun run on. They're already dead. This is uh, a truck. Not gonna waste time on a truck. Uh, but in terms of armor, BTR, what's this? Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was that was armor. That was a T72. But, uh, he's definitely gone. I mean, they they are Abrams down there. They're pretty capable. Doing a nice thorough search of that village. And I don't see anything. Again, the X. You can see that's a friendly Abrams. Alright, watch this. I'm literally going to just walk the TGP thing down to the other village. Look at that. You just put it right on the, the thing. The situational awareness that thing offers is great. Uh, so we're having a look around. That's another ATGM launch. So I'm not going to freak you out. Looks like we actually have uh, two pieces of armor here who were obstructed by smoke. Yeah, look at that. What is that? Two T-72s looking to their left, it looks like. I see one and two. They may be looking at friendly forces. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're shooting at them. So I'm going to have to come down here for a gun run and see if we can do a quick run on these guys. Kill them or at the very least ring their bell so that they can't focus. Confuse them a little bit hopefully damage them enough to knock them out of the fight. Pull up, pull up. All right, good hits on that guy. Second guy. Oh yeah, dude, second guy got pull shot up, in the back of the, the turret. And I actually got hit there as well. But I think I did my job. I feel like I lit up that second tank uh, pretty severely. I'm surprised that he didn't blow up. I'm pretty sure he did because I, I don't see an explosion there. Alright, I'm gonna have to come around for another gun run on this guy. Alright, there he is. Light him up. Oh, we're taking fire here. There's a BTR. Okay, BTR got hit actually. I think he's out. But those two tanks are still there. And they're still not being engaged by the uh, friendly armor. Alright, I'm getting tired of the 30 mil not working. We're gonna hit this guy with a 2,000 pound bomb. 
Look at these friendlies. These these tanks moving right in front here. Those are that's like five Abrams there. Somehow they don't see this guy right on their flank. Pull up, pull Pickle, up. two thousand pound bomb to sort that problem out. And he doesn't see the Abrams either. Well, I mean, <laughs> he's not seeing much of anything anymore. <laughs> But there's still another T-72 there, which I really hope that those friendly Abrams see. Because if not, he's going to knock out one of the Abrams. They have a side, he has a side profile shot on the Abrams there. Come on. You see that, right? Yeah, they're... Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, they just killed that guy. Nothing like a 2,000-pound bomb to get your attention. <laughs> Make you look over. He's like, why do you drop a 2,000-pound bomb there? And he looks over and says, oh, there's a T-72 there. <laughs> It <laughs> kills it. Wow. I feel like we averted disaster there. And I think it's time to head home. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me. I know many of you have been patiently waiting for us to do some A10 stuff on this channel, so I appreciate you waiting years, basically, <laughs> for me to learn this thing. Uh, and to be honest, all of you who recommended I get the A10, well, I had it, but like to learn it, uh, you're absolutely right. It's a tremendous amount of fun. I'm really enjoying the air to ground stuff. It, uh, the 30 millimeter is one of the funnest things I've ever, you know, done in DCS. Really, really love the gun on this thing. And uh, if you're on the fence about the A10, you like air to ground i don't think you're gonna find a better platform this thing is a tremendous amount of fun so if you're on the fence you're thinking about picking up the a10 i highly recommend it it's uh it's a tremendous amount of fun and you'll have no regrets i mean i, I know i don't i've had a lot of fun learning it i look forward to learning a lot more all right guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys